Welcome back. Yes, you are back with your boy Scarsh as we are in the Master League right now. We have our Mewtwo on the lead as per usual. And we're faced up against a ho-ho here. Offloading our first side strike. They decide to shield that. It's absolutely fine. Swap out and catch the charge move on our own ho-ho. What is it going to be? It's a sacred fire. Not very effective. Our attack does fall. And they bring in the Dialga, which is absolutely fine. We're ahead on energy. We're going to throw our sacred fire onto it. See what the vibe is. Expecting them to let go. They do. And their attack falls. Let's see what they want to do here. We get into the Brave Bird. Do they fancy shielding this now? No, they let it go. Okay. And then they come back with their ho-ho going for the farm down. They should be able to get it just about. And they do. Coming back in with our Mewtwo. Offloading side strike. And see what the vibe is here. Okay. Nice damage there. Still got two shields. We make use of one here. Okay. Attack has fallen again. That's absolutely fine though. We're just building up, stacking extra energy. Going for another side strike here. This will get rid of their ho ho if they decide not to shield. They decide not to shield and then they bring in Xerneas. It's absolutely fine. We're just stacking energy. Mewtwo with energy. Hoy. You already know. I mean, come on. Even if you're going to debuff him, you're still going to feel it. Offload another side strike here. Gets their shield. And now they're going to decide to throw energy here. What's it going to be? They full send the moon blast. All right, we still have one shield. They have none. Let's go. Xerneas mirror. Okay, they throw the moon blast there. That's fine. And now we're going to throw our own moon blast here. Which will wrap this one up in SGGs. Nicely done. All right, let's move swiftly. All right, let's go get it. Face up against a Boswell. Boswell don't want to see you two. What are they doing here? They decide to dip out straight away, and then they come in with Nihiligo, though. Like, that's not great either. So, we're going to stay here. Big damage. Gonna go for the full farm then he will be able to get a charge move off. It's not threatening, we're not gonna shield it. And then we'll just psycho cut down. What do we want to do? Are they bringing back Boswell? Or revealing a third? Okay, they reveal the third. We're gonna go for the ice beam. You know we got that ice beam on deck. Let's go. Big damage. Mewtwo's job is done. Coming Xerneas. What do they wanna do? What do they want to do? They're in trouble. Boswell don't want to see this. Tyranitar don't want to see this. There's pretty much nowhere for them to go. We go for the crunch. We're shielding it anyway. We want to preserve that health. Now we're going to go for the close combat. Let's see what they want to do here. They know we've got the back-to-back. -back. They shield that and then dip, knowing that we're going to throw the second one straight away. So they catch that on Boswell. But that's absolutely fine because it doesn't help them much. We come in with Giratina here and they decide to top left as there was nothing else they could do there. GG's. All right, moving on into the next one. Faced up against a Kyogre here. Absolutely fine. Offloading the side strike. Big damage. Get into another side strike. How they feeling? Like, what do they want to do here? They shield that up. Okay. Okay, we're going to shield up too. All right. All right. Building up. Get off that second side strike. Land the second side strike. Alright, 
through three side strikes and shielded one, landed two, and then Palkia comes in and we can't get to the next side strike. So, the Palkia sees our Xerneas. What do they want to do? They're building up a lot of energy here and we're going to shield this up. It's a fire blast, good shield, and then they swap out into pre marina, so we swap out into our Groudon. And it's a triple water team. But somehow, Groudon is safe. Big damage. This was Blaze, no joke. I'm going for another one here. See what the vibe is. Did you fancy using that shield? No, nope, they let it go, and that's GG's. All right, taking that W. Let's move on into the next one. And let's go get them. Mewtwo mirror match, and we don't run Shadow Ball. All right, they are shiny flexing that Shundo over there. We're gonna get off our charge move here. They don't know we don't run Shadow Ball, so they shield it. Absolutely fine. How are we feeling like though? We're gonna let it go. It's just a side strike. That's absolutely fine. All right, throwing on CMP. You know we win it. We are that Hundo best buddy equipped. All right, the so side strikes will add up. We're not running Shadow Ball, so. Putting them side strikes, they will add up. They go for the shadow ball there. That's absolutely fine though. Remember, we still got them two shields. They only have one. So I'm gonna build up as much energy as we can. I'm gonna shield up that side strike there. Build up a bit more. Put them in fire punch range. So we still got energy stacked for whatever they want to bring in the back. They decide to shield that fire punch. So something in the back they want to see growl on. So of course they're shielding up once again, preserving that health nicely in the green. Uh, building up extra. Then throwing that fire punch. Still stacked on energy. Ground on stacked with energy facing up against everything else that's on the ground. You're in trouble. And it's Giratina. That's not a flying type. So Groudon's gonna put in work. Alright, offloading the press press plays big damage. Let's go. We can tank the Shadow Ball from this range, so we're absolutely fine. We might want to dip out after throwing this. We've got to be careful. And look, we thought we could get off the Precipice Blades there, but we die with it. But it's absolutely fine. Xerneas steps in to finish this one off. So let's go. We won't be throwing close combat. We do not want to lower our defense. That's what they're waiting for. They want us to throw... They want us to throw the close combat so that one iron head will take us out, but nope, we don't throw close combat so we can take the iron head comfortably, comfortably. And now we can offload the close combat because that guillotine in the back is not threatening. So bye bye to the Dialga. And now we can just build up, get off that moon blast and wrap this one up like a Christmas present. And that one's looking to be GG's. Nicely done. Okay. Moving on. Let's go. Okay, we're faced up against a Dialga. Not surprised. All right. Let's see what the vibe is though. Stacking up. We will be offloading Ice Beam. Let's see what they want to do. If they shield it, we will go to Xerneas. If they don't shield, we'll stay. They decide to let it go. So we're going to stay here and see if we can make play for Switch. So the front iron head here. We shield that up. Let's see what the vibe is. Stacking up extra energy. And then throwing the side strike here. What do they want to do? They shield. Now, can we get off this side strike? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes. And they double shield. So now we're in a good spot. That's absolutely fine. We can come in Xerneas here. Let's go. All right, then. We let this iron head go. We know we can take it. And then Groudon 
and do what he does with a short advantage. So offloading the close combat and then we should be able to swap out here, which we do. And Groudon has a shield advantage and now it's just Groudon against nothing flying it looks like because they're not swapping out here so we're gonna shield up this shadow ball preserve his health stack extra energy offload the precipice blade which will be doing big damage as you can see and i'm gonna stack up extra we're still not threatened by the shadow ball from this range so let's see what they want to do they throw the shadow ball and then it's sticking around, so we're building extra energy. It's absolutely fine with us. We're gonna throw the fire punch and then look to farm down. They might just survive. Yeah, they do just survive, but they need to fight. Decide to dip out into their own Groudon, which is gonna have to hold on to this Precipice Blade. Big damage. And then we swap out into Xerneas. We can throw a close combat. So that Groudon is out of it as fast as it came in. And then our Xerneas is still healthy enough to farm down their Giratina. And that's GG's. Nicely done. Okay, taking that W, we're now moving on into the last one. Let's get them. So let's see what they want to do here. They dip out straight away into their Dialga. Their Dialga is met by our Groudon. Let's go. Throwing the precipice blades. Let's see what they want to do. You already know this will one shot, but they most likely will shield. They do. Let's go. Building up. On the way to the next one. They most likely want to throw CMP, so we're not gonna throw. We're gonna go for the mud shot. Let's go. We're gonna do one more mud shot and then throw. Okay, they most likely will be shielding this. If they do shield this, they really want that switch alignment and they do shield it. So I wonder what's in the back. Something they don't want trapped. So let's see. All right, shielding that up. And now we can get off our own here. And we really did want that last one to be on CMP so that they couldn't dip out and try to catch because the switch clock was up. And look what's in the back. It is Yveltal. So they didn't want their Yveltal trapped against a fairy but that's exactly what's going to happen. In comes our Xerneas. What do they want to do? They swap out <laughs> into the Zacian. So as we started off, Mewtwo versus Zacian, we're stacking up the back-to-back -back and you can already see where this one is heading. They haven't even thrown. We will win CMP. This one is looking to be a wrap and it was the last battle. So thank you guys for coming by once again. You all take care now. Peace.